Hello then, and a very happy new year to you all. I hope you had an amazing time over the Christmas and New Year period. For me, it was just a chilled one. Um, Christmas Day, I went and see Little Un in the morning, which was really, really nice. And then basically I went back home, slept. I was with the missus for the day. It's our first Christmas in our new house, so it was really exciting for us. Um, I cooked a dinner. I can cook, believe it or not. Um, yeah, and then just went asleep and basically woke up and it was Boxing Day. Had a nice chilled day with the family on Boxing Day. And then like everyone can relate to this, can't they? That little bit between Christmas and New Year, it's like the sort of time of year. It's like, what'd you do? You know, do you go back, do a couple of nights fishing? Hopefully, if you did go out fishing, you all had a few fish. Um, or just sit around, you know, you go and visit these, you go and visit them. It's just that time of year and it's a weird time of year. And then New Year, well, it was actually New Year's Eve last night and today is New Year's Day and it is just coming up to six o'clock. It's 5.45 and as you can tell by me sitting in the van, I am not at home. I am indeed fishing. Well, I'm going fishing, should I say. And it's very exciting today and, it's, and I'm, you know, I've not spoken about this um in great depth yet i'm sure by now you would have all seen over social media that i have indeed left fox international after 16 years and joined corda developments now it was a massive move for me you know i'm talking like straight from the heart here. i was like i was emotional when when i was doing the changeover and even before you know going through everything and going through in my head what i feel is right for me what what's the right thing for me to do at this at this present time um and it was a really really hard decision 16 years you know that's half of my life i'm 32 years of age i signed for fox when i was 16 and it's half of my life it's a long long time i love all the guys and girls there it's a fantastic brand but something was just telling me that now is the right time I'm not getting into any political debate with anybody because there is no political debate to be had. You know, there's no rumours that need to be spread. I didn't get kicked out of Fox. Fox didn't want rid of me. It was a decision that I had made. I had made myself. You know, I'd had sleepless nights. I know you're not going to be able to all ask me, Mrs., you know, how I've been, but I couldn't sleep. I was thinking it over and over and over again. But the, the move's been done. And, yeah, this is my first time out or first session out as a quarter angler like oh, so excited you know it's like a whole new lease of life it's very hard to explain but my love and passion for fishing is so deep that, i don't know it's just the right thing to do now you know it's, and i'm sitting here talking to you guys you know i'm talking into a camera sat in a car park at linear fisheries and if someone drives now they probably think what the bloody hell is he doing but i wanted to come on and i wanted to do you know the introduction to this first vlog just with a little bit about the move um excuse me what it will change for me absolutely nothing i will still be exactly the same angler that you have grown to love i suppose over all these years nothing will change it's just new opportunities you know it's, it, there's just so many bits and pieces and i'm sitting here now and i've got my cine carp jumper on but i've got my quarter joggers on got my quarter jumper in and i've got a van full of all new equipment now Hopefully, by the time this has gone out, I've come to some sort of, um, what should we say, come to some sort of answer what I'm going to be doing with my old tackle, um, which is obviously all Fox. Now, there's a couple of options that I've got in my head. I'm not going to say too much, just in case by the time this comes out, I haven't actually done any of them. Um, but it is going to be given away at some sort of charitable way you know i don't want to well i'm not going to sell my kit it's not my gear to sell anyway it's not even an option so if anyone sees me on a bank i've not got nothing for sale um i want to do what i can and give back basically with all the kit that i've got because there's no point in me keeping it all some things i will be keeping because they're sentimental and i've had them for years um but the rest of it is gonna i'm gonna work out with fox the best way to distribute the gear if you know what i mean so yeah but exciting times ahead indeed i yeah i'm still a little bit stumped to be honest with you um that say today is new year's day I, but at this point obviously you will have probably all know by now at this point i haven't actually put anything out on my social media so i've come fishing this morning and i've got obviously my quarter gear on but no one knows because i i didn't go around telling everybody because we we obviously i had to terminate my contract with fox um, so the way it works is obviously we're contracted, so you have to terminate it, but it was coming up for renewal at the end of this year. Um, but you have that period where you've got to sort your new deal out, 
and then you've got to depart from your old company. Um, so I haven't really told that many people. Um, obviously, my close friends know and family. Um, the people within the two companies, certainly the the directors and you know, and the, and the people that needed to know to make everything or or, the, or put the wheels in motion, so to speak. So my phone hasn't been going mad over Christmas. And to be honest with you, that's what I wanted. I didn't want to be answering messages all day. You know, why have you left? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you this and that? You know, I wanted to keep it quiet. And the same as well. I mean, I respect all the guys not only from Fox, but massively from Corda as well. And I don't want their phones going, you know, it's a, it's a time to spend with your family and all they're going to be getting is, is Tom Maker come to your company and then all Fox are going to be getting is Tom Maker left. And I don't want that. So I've tried to keep it as quiet and under wraps as possible. Um, and then, yeah, here we are now, 1st of January, and I'm going to be turning up to, to a lake, a busy lake, but somewhere that I enjoy going fishing, which isn't going to change within my angling. And... Yeah, people are going to be asking me questions and they're going to be a bit shocked until I put something out on socials. Like I said, by the time you've watched this, um, it will be out on social anyway, so everybody will know. So yeah, the first couple of days is going to be a little bit nerve wracking. So I'm going to put something out tomorrow or Wednesday, so a couple of days into the new year. Um, and yeah, then I'll obviously I'll let everybody know. So I'm, I'm really, really excited, like massively excited, but... I know people always say, oh, don't let the trolls get to you or don't let comments get to you. But I think in, as, as humans and human nature, if you see a negative comment, you always take a little bit of that to heart. It doesn't matter how thick skinned you think you are. And they certainly motivate me to carry on. You know, there's nothing better than when you know someone has gone out of their way in their day to watch what you're doing, to pass judgment, to comment on it. And they've wasted their day talking about you. You know, it's quite a satisfying thing, but... That's probably the only thing that's really concerned me. But, you know, I've been with Fox for 16 years, so no one could turn around and say, well, I haven't been loyal. You know, 16 years is a long time. There's probably not many people out there that have held the same job down with the same company for 16 years. Um, so for me, this is obviously my job, and I'm very fortunate, and I, and I love all of you guys and girls that support me to be able to put me in this position, because I know without any of you and the companies and the fisheries that allow me to fish their lakes... I, I wouldn't be sat here, um, which is why I always want to come on and do the vlogs and keep them as real as possible. And I'm probably waffling on a bit too much now, so I'm going to cut it here. But like I say, by the time this vlog goes out, all of you guys and girls will know. Um, I hope you're still here supporting us, um, because believe me, I won't change. But what this will mean is there'll be so many more exciting opportunities and different venues, open access day ticket venues, the embryo venues where we can go and fish. Not that I couldn't fish them before, but now it just gives easier access. So there's loads more venues now that we can add to our portfolio. And more importantly, I'm out on the bank more. So what more can you want? It's a win-win, really. You get to see a lot more of me. I've made a little changeover. Well, it's a big changeover, really, isn't it, for me anyway? Um, and I'm still the same person, you know, I, people are going to ask me questions, I fish busy places, come and ask me the question, you know, I'm not, I'd never talk bad about a company, you know, I've been with Fox for 16 years, like I say, I was actually with Corda before, but I'll update you a little bit on that in due course through this vlog, um, yeah, and I've got nothing bad to say. I absolutely love the guys and girls there. And you know what? I still speak to them. I say I still speak to them now. I know it's only the first day of January, but, you know, I spoke to them all the way through the Christmas period. Nothing's changed. Nothing will change. They respect my decision because ultimately, in this life, take it from me, and I'm someone that never used to be like this. You've got one opportunity. You know, if there's something that's hanging over you that you feel you should do, go and do it. You know, life is too short. You're not coming back for a second go. Um, and... That's what I've done. I've gone for it and nothing's going to change. I'm not going to wake up in the morning. I've got two heads. I'm still going to be the same human being, but I've just done something that I feel I needed to do and I feel now is the right time. So I'm going fishing. It's, it starts as the first week of January. I can't wait because we always do this every year. We always have our little social, our little get together, me and a couple of mates. Obviously, I'm going to vlog as much as what I can. Um, one thing I do know is the water level up is quite... Oh, excuse me. The water level up here is quite high. So it is a little bit touch and go as to how long the fishery might remain open for. But I'm here. I've got a van full of kit. I've got a load of food with me. I'm going to pitch up my bivvy. If we can fish the whole session, I'm going to stay for a good three nights and I'm going to fish and I'm going to enjoy myself. Yeah, and we'll just see how it goes. I'm going to stop rambling on and the next time you'll see me, we'll be in the peg. Big love to you all. I hope you made it all the way through this introduction and I hope that you had an amazing Christmas and more importantly, Happy New Year for 2024.
Well, here we go then. 2024 is up and running. I'm in swim 10, braze nose one, and I will be hopefully, provided it doesn't flood, spending the next two or three nights in this peg. It's an area that has brilliant winter form. The lake has been doing a fair few fish, but one of the things that we've been told to keep an eye on is the water level that's rising. And look at the big changes. There we go. There is the new setup. Well, as it stands at the moment, things might change, but I've got the black singles. What an awesome piece of kit. Now, I'm not going to, you know, obviously everyone's probably thinking, oh, you're going to do now, say this is the best, that's the best. I've never said anything's the best. I've only used or ever used what the company has produced and manufactured. And obviously, I've used my pod for years and years. And I will be able to use a pod um, because Corda don't make a pod yet. So I will be able to use a pod, but I'm using these singles. And I'll tell you what, when you don't use something and then you get a go to, or you have the opportunity to use it or put it into your fishing, what an amazing concept these are. I've got my little uprights on the front, obviously with my buzzers. I've got my black and whites. I've gone for white. I think they're the medium ones they are with the isotopes in. And then what I've done is I've gone for the same width buzz bar on the front as I have with the ones on the back. On the reels, the line of choice that I've gone for, obviously I'm very new to Corda, um, so the line that I've gone for is long chuck. Over time I'll get to explore all of their different lines and pick and choose which one suits me. And then you can see there that branding on them rods. If it focuses on the branding, which it should do, a lovely set of Kaizen rods. And let me tell you, I have just chucked my rigs out with them. And they're different, very, very different, obviously, because they're a different make, different manufacturer of rod. But wow, I can see me getting on with these like a house on fire. What a set of rods they are. I've got a different stack of buckets this time around. And then in there, the awesome spring bow landing nets. And they are awesome, even though I've not caught fish. Now, this could be a curse. Because not only have I got one that side, I've also got one the other side. So it could be the curse of the new landing net. Panning into the bivvy. Lunch is on the go. Got my little compact cooker bag. And then this is a brilliant idea. Now, I didn't even know Cord had done these. But this is a brilliant idea. It's basically, it's a framed holdall with little stubby feet on the bottom. Now, I'm sure everyone will know, certainly for those guys that don't use a ground sheet like me, that when you put your holders on the floor, the bottoms of them get saturated in water. And then when you put them in your van, or you put them at home when you want to sort some bits out, they're covered in mud and they're covered in crap. And they never really dry. But this has got raised feet, which just lifts it off the floor a couple of inches, which means that none of that is going to be getting wet. And then inside, such a great little system. This, again, all of this stuff, a lot of it, not that I've not wanted to ever look in the past, but I've never had a need to. But look, you lift the lid up, you've got a nice little tray that you can work on. And then when you lift it up, obviously you've got a little storage place here. You put all your little bits, you've got all your little bags and stuff and all your little pouches in there. Obviously I've still got fox head torches. Got this, I've moved this over from my hold on. This here, when I was sorting my kit out, when my little one could just learn to crawl, she dropped this in my hold -all, and it's never ever been taken out. So I've taken it obviously out of my fox hold -all, and just put it into my new hold -all that I've got here. So yes, yeah, my good luck charm, that. I'm sure we've all got good luck charms. It's an egg, you know, we've probably sold the set and said there was a piece missing, but all that time it was in my holder. My little cork balls in there. I've got me compact cooler bag. Oh, it's exciting times. I've got my lead pouches, my tackle box, which I was about to redo. A whole new tackle box. Lift into the lights so you can see it. So everything has obviously had to be changed over. All very neat. Oh, it's all very exciting times, isn't it? All very exciting times. Yeah, so we're here, we're having a go. In terms of tactics, just gone for a, a couple of little bunches of worms over the top of half a peach and pepper pop-up. And then in the mix, I've put a little bit of chopped worm, sweet corn, 2.3 mil blood worm pellets, um, and a few crumbed boilies in there. So I've only put seven spawns out to start because the wind's off me back and I'm managing to fish nice and accurate. I'm out. In line with those three trees, I'd be more apparent when I zoom in. See those three trees there? I'm in line with those three trees at 25 rod lengths. Nice easy chuck, wind's off me back. And one thing to mention as well, it isn't aiming directly at a swim. If I was to have aimed at that guy there, it's just a piece of water there that people obviously always fish. 
Whereas the beauty here is I'm aiming at a large section of <coughs> oh, excuse me, a large section of water where people wouldn't necessarily chuck, hoping that that's going to be an area where the fish might not necessarily see a lot of bait there, but they probably have done over the years. It's just me just waffling on now. So yeah, rods are out. Welcome to 2024. Well, there we go. That is a rod against the bivy, which means I have just caught one. It was only a small one, so I just slipped it straight back. It's absolutely chucking it down. I'm not sure if you can hear. But what that fish is, is a massive, massive confidence booster. Obviously, with a change of company, is a complete change of terminal tackle. Now, included in terminal tackle are hooks, one of the most important pieces of equipment in our armory. And it's all about building confidence in a new hook. Certainly a hook that I've never used before. That is a wide gate in a size four. It's not too dissimilar to the wide gate beak that I used to use when I was with Fox. Just a couple of slight little tweaks that are a bit different. Mainly the point is a little bit longer and isn't quite as aggressive on the intern and also the eye of the hook as well. I'm not sure how well you can see that isn't as turned in as what the fox ones are but that fish was absolutely nailed and there is nothing that builds confidence like that first bite <coughs> excuse me on your new tackle so i'm very very happy at this moment and like i say down there is my tackle box full of all shiny new bits and pieces so yeah confidence is high as we roll in to 2024 miserable and drab that is how i would sum up the weather over the past 12 hours overnight it has not stopped raining um but me loving carp fishing like i do that's my phone i'm just going to mute that a minute sorry me loving carp fishing like i do i stayed awake and i made the most of all of the opportunities now i had a couple of fish before midnight got the rods back out they're only small fish so i put them back but it was chucking it down that much so i didn't want to get the camera out much like i don't really want to take the camera out in the weather today and as you can see out there we are flying a victory flag as I've just had a double take and I've got a pair of good uns in there. Well, I say good uns, well, they are bloody good fish to be fair. I've not weighed either of them, but I would say they're both over 30 pounds, which is a great start to 2024. And um, yeah, so confidence is sky high. And you know what? All of the components I used have all held up. Not that I didn't think they would hold up, but obviously, like I said before, you need to gain confidence when it comes to using tackle that you've not used before. The rods are absolutely lovely, sublime, I would say, to play carp on. They're 12 foot 6, 4 pound test curve. 12, yeah, I was about to say 12 foot. 12 foot 6, 4 pound test curve. I know it might sound a bit beefy, but they've got a lovely play in action. But they've proper got a backbone for casting. And I'm fishing just over 100 yards. So you do need a little bit of a backbone. So yeah, we'll get these fish out. I'm not sure how much of it I'll get on film because it's absolutely chucking it down. I don't want to ruin my camera. But if I get a couple of steals, I might just show you them on my phone after. Come on. Well, as you can probably hear by the uh, noise on the bivvy, it is not stopped raining. I've got to try and hold the camera out here because if I hold it, arms reach. Every time I'm breathing, it's steaming up. I've had about four goes at this, and this is going to be my last go, so I hope it don't steam up. Um, yeah, I didn't even film those fish. I'll be straight honest. I just photographed them. Blow a bit of breath out. I just photographed them. Um, it was too wet to get the camera out in. Um, I had two, like I say, through the hours of darkness and two early this morning. Um, 33 common and a 34 pound mirror. So, yeah, one mustn't complain. Opening 2024 in style with a few carp and a completely new company. I am so excited. I know I've mentioned it a million times before, but I'm so, so excited. What I'll do is I'll spin this camera around and I'll show you guys and girls the fish that I've had. I've got a river running through my swim. Um, yeah. Other than that, we're here, we're fishing, we're having a go. I don't think I'm going to be able to stay another night. May possibly squeeze it, but I reckon they're going to close the lake for flooding um, because the water is rising by the hour, um, which is a shame, but they've done very well to keep it open up here as long as what they have done. So, yeah, I'm going to make myself a coffee and I'm going to show you these fish right now. Well, it is still chucking it down. Showing no signs of letting up. And I feel for those guys on the opposite bank they're right in the face of it and this is getting a lot stronger later on I'm just reeling in there look if you pan along the bank look you'll see there's red and white tape behind a lot of these pegs they've already been closing them off because the water's coming up high obviously we've managed to well i managed to get this side 
You've got a little bit of height over here, so you can still fish. But anyway, here's the fish. I oh, was just about to show you my passcode then, it wouldn't be a good idea, would it? So there we go. There's the common that I had. £33. Lovely common. And then we go on to the mirror. Look at that for a lovely carp. £34 mirror. A nice brace of £30 to start 2024. Look at that. Hey, new hat. Look, look at that. New hat. A little pair of glasses on my head. Oh, yes. I hope that your 2024 has also started with a bang. Well, I was just about to start sorting my rods out. I managed to get two out there, and look how bloody windy it's got. You can't really get a gauge off of that. <sighs> she is blowing like a good one. Nothing's happened throughout the day today, which, to be honest with you, I half expected nothing to happen anyway. Um, the water is carrying on, coming up. Um, a lot of pegs are closed now. The only reason I'm able to stay where I am is because the front of the peg that I'm in is only halfway up my welly, whereas some of the other lower swims, it's well over welly depth, which means I've got to close them. Um, God knows what this is going to do to the fishing. It is. I've never seen anything so windy in my life. Bloody hell, the trees are going everywhere. The Danuki mat's blowing all over the place. It's savage. So, yeah, my mate's rocked up. He's gone further down the bank. I don't even know how the audio on this is going to turn out. My mates are down the bank now, I don't know if you can see them. Absolutely blowing. Oh, yeah. oh, it's absolutely blowing a hooligan out there. Savage. So yeah, um, I'm gonna do tonight anyway, see how we get on. I'm hoping that this this wind, rain, whatever's coming through now passes and blows itself through. Oh, excuse me, even I've got a bit of the wind. Because it is savage. I'm gonna pan around because the water's just lifted off the lake, it's that windy. Little bag of worms there, boy. Look at it blowing across there. Look at them. The old tuft is loving life. These boys on the opposite bank must be getting an absolute battering. My man over there chilling. Jesus. This is hurricane force. Talking like a storm chaser. This is like some sort of like discovery documentary that I'm talking. Look at it. Well, it's like this. You ain't fishing properly in this. I don't care who you are. You ain't getting any bait to the bottom near where you're fishing. There'll be a horrendous undertow on this. It is ripping through. But we're here. We're having a go. We've already had four, up to over 30 pound. If I don't catch tonight, been a good start to the year. Nothing else happened last night um, and as you're probably just about to see now look at that this is Hardwick and that's the road the river's burst its banks all the way around the complex and the water is rising rapidly and I think all the cold water going into the lake just killed it off and to be honest with you I don't think I'd have got another night out of it anyway the water's coming up quick Hardwick's now closed a load of pegs on B1 are closed there's a few on B2 that are still open but if this comes up anymore, obviously for health and safety, they'll have to uh, they'll have to close this side of the road. But spin you around, you can see my old boat race. Here I am. But yeah, what a great first trip out of 2024. Nice to get underway under the quarter banner, which is great. Um, ended up with four fish, a couple of thirties, couple of twenties. Cannot complain at that at all. Um, next week, I'm going down to quarter HQ for my first time to meet with all the guys and see everybody there. Obviously, I know a lot of the guys there anyway, um, but just to familiarise myself with the surroundings because I'll be spending a lot of time there for years to come. Um, yeah, so it's exciting times ahead and the weather is turning a little bit next week as well. So very, very exciting times ahead indeed. So I'm going to go down there next week and then me and Brad will be back out on the bank producing uh, plenty of great content for you lovely people. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the little insight into this trip. It's been a little bit stressful, this trip, I'm not going to lie. Um, I'm just not the van out of gear in a minute. I've, I've not really filmed as much as what I've wanted to. Um, there's been quite a lot of people coming into the peg, obviously, because the news has gone out. And also, as well, I put the post out whilst I was here fishing. And I was very, very anxious about doing it beforehand. And I just couldn't really focus on anything to do with filming or really get my head into the fishing. That's why the first night I really focused and had a good go at the fishing. And then 
on the um, on the on last night. I put the post out yesterday evening, and I just couldn't really focus on anything. And you know, it was it's a massive moment for me putting that post out. But it's been received so well. So I thank each and every one of you that has commented um, for the support and the love. You know, it really does mean everything to me. And uh, ultimately, what I do, I want to try my very very best to help you, lovely people, improve your carp angling and ultimately make you more confident better anglers when you go out on the bank so yeah much love for that plenty more to come in 2024 hope you enjoy the ride thank you very much let's do this 2024 here we come as you can see here it's flooding into the back of smiths from the river because normally you can walk across look at that pumping in I mean, it's such a speed, there's even a bit of froth over there. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I told a porky pie. Um, I was gonna go home, um, and I went over to the shop with a couple of my mates to get a coffee, um, and just see the bailiffs before I went. And I thought, you know what I haven't done? I haven't really got any videos of any of the water coming in, just to show people how high the water actually is. And uh, I drove round, and uh, you're probably not gonna believe this, but the guys that were on the point of Braze Nose 2 were packing away, and it has been doing the odd fish. So I thought, do you know what, sod it. It's probably gonna be closed for a while up here anyway. The weather's looking crap as we enter next week. Probably not about to go fishing for a little while, maybe a couple of three weeks anyway. So I've come around here, I'm a bit out of breath, so I've just settled my kit up. And uh, yeah, I'm on the side point of Braze Nose 2, 28 wraps, lovely little bit of gravel, and I put some bait out. And we're gonna do another night's fishing because I love fishing. And obviously as well, it gives me more time to try out the new kit. And uh, yeah, I am like a little bit of a kid at Christmas really with the new kit and it's nice to be able to use it. You know, I've got three different hook patterns on tonight um, or going into this last session. I've got a crank, a wide gape, and I'm not sure what the other one's called, but they're a really nice, aggressive, like a long shank curve almost type hook. I'll find the name. I'm not the best with names yet. You'll have to bear with me. So yeah, I've got three rods out there, three different hook patterns, and it's all about experimenting. But yeah, we're fishing again. So I'm gonna pan around now I'm just going to show you, this is the front point of Braze Nose 2 now, what I'm stood on. So you can see how much the water's come up. Obviously as we walk to the front of the swim. There's the front of the peg. This is the front point, like I say. Pan around. And this is the swim itself. So the water's right up, and then... That's actually, well, it's actually bloody nice that the sun's out. I'll get to dry some of my kit out, because it was absolutely soaking wet. I mean, the banks aren't going to dry out. Look at them, they're sodden. But I will be able to dry some of my kit out. And I've got a little bit of bait left in my bucket, so I'll show you that. And here's my rods. Looking lovely, look, the old Kaisens. Free out on the spot. You see how tight we are? Actually, I'm just walking to the front of the peg now. There's the old rods lot out there. And then I'm fishing in line with that little clump of trees right where Mr Coot's sitting but yeah here's the bait anyway here's the setup first got my two nets there ready to go a little bait station four little cans of corn the old snips for the worms pellets as well this is the mix that I'm using I've got a couple more to put out but I just wanted to save this just to show you guys and girls what I'm putting out you can see in there Sweet corn, 2.3 mil bloodworm pellets, and chop worm. And the reason why I've gone for the pellets is because the birds are a nightmare on here, and it's a lot more food items, and also the crays can be quite bad. Now I know putting cray, uh, putting cray, putting pellets in when there's crayfish back might seem mad, but they're going to get a lot more frustrated biting through little pellets and not getting anything, so they're likely to move off quicker as what they would do if I was putting chopped or mulched up boilies in there. So that's the old mega mix. This is the rods, look, looking nice and neat. That's the long chuck on there, 12 pound. Bloody lovely line that is. Really nice, 0 0.30 diameter, and I've got a 30 pound armor cord shock leader. And then there's the house. So I'm gonna have a bit of a tidy up, bit of a re-evaluation, do the night. Hopefully I can show you guys and girls some more fish, but know what's good about tonight. Let me just go back to onto my beautiful face again. Oh, I don't know what I've done there. Is that still recording? Oh yeah. Yeah, you know what I've done tonight or what I'm doing tonight, which is really nice? There's no one around me. And that might sound miserable, but I had a proper stressful night last night putting that post out. So it's nice just to do the night tonight on my own, chill out, pack up in the morning. 
we started the year. Well, I don't know what time of the morning it is, but this is the second one I've had now. Just had a massive rainstorm come through again. And I had the first one right in the middle of that, and it was, again, it was only a small one. That one there is probably, I don't know, looks a lot bigger in the net, but 18, 20 pound. It's probably like two, three o'clock in the morning. I ain't gonna keep it. I'm literally gonna unjab this net from the floor. I'm gonna let him go, I think. But worth staying on the extra night and coming over onto B2. So we've got ourselves a couple of bites. Hopefully the action's only just started and it might sort of pick up from here. I can only stay till about 10, 11 o'clock today anyway, so there you go. There he goes. Off you go there, mate. A little shunt now, come on. There he goes. Proper slow moving. Two rods left out there. Not that you can really see that, that's quite blurry. There he goes. Right, back into bed. Finally, how nice does it look to see a lovely sunrise? Seems like for God knows how long now that every single morning it's just been cloudy and chucking it down. But not this morning. The peg that I'm in fortunately faces right in the firing line of where the sun comes up. Oh, lovely. And what's even better is Mr. Carp sitting in there. And he's quite a decent one as well. Just add that one. Rods are back out. Just gonna make myself a coffee because I'm absolutely freezing. I'm gonna get him out. I'm gonna have a little look at him. Comes the swans for their morning breakfast. I've got Gary the Goose down here. It seems to be taking up a bit of residency in the swim. But yeah, look at that. What a glorious, glorious sunrise. Yep, that's what I thought, mate. Right, I hope this looks all right. It's still early in the morning, but I don't want to leave it in the net too long. This is the one I just had. Just over 30 pounds. I've had a 30 from, two 30s from B1 and a 30 from B2. Good start to the year. Behaves. Nice fish this one, nice pretty mirror. There he is. A nice 30 pound. Haha, <laughs> lovely times. Right, let's have a look at the other side, should we quick? He's quite a nice fish this one. This is better side, this side really. It's gonna behave, I think. There we go. What starts to 2024, eh? Two lakes, three 30 pounders. Haha, <laughs> that'll do for me. We are in. I've actually got a double take as well. I think the screen's a bit misted up. the first one, now onto the second one. Double take back this. Fish all. <laughs> what a way to start the day, eh? Double take. Well, and that £30 pounder is ready. Water's proper come up though. I don't know how much of this you can hear, the water's proper come up in the peg next door, it's completely flooded out now. Right, 
Well, how about that then? A bit of double tape carnage. Put them both in as well. He looks an alright one. And he's down there soaking, he looks an alright one. Just as the old current barn is coming above the trees. Ah, what a January morning. Right, I'm just going to quickly get these fish sorted before I put any more bait out. This one here, a little over 27. I have to fish this one, proper angry thing. Oh, it's kicking right off, come on. Oh, well, it looks in the screen, the sun's so bloody bright. Lovely fish though, this one, look at this. Assuming that's all in. There we go, just over 27 pound. What a lovely braised nose two mirror carp, and he's sticking his dorsal up for us as well. Is that in? Yeah, I think that's in. Lovely, that'll do. Double take after putting the rods back out after that 31. Little bit of bait over the top. Bob's your uncle. Lovely. And this one, a little bit bigger, just over 30 pound this one. Not a bad morning, is it? 27, scrape of 30, and a 31. I've changed camera angle slightly because when I reviewed that footage, the shadow was in the way. So Brad will moan about that, but it's a good thing for vlogging, it don't really matter. Long old thing this is. This was the second one of the double take. There we go. In a bit so you can see it. Nice old. So much give, go, give. I'm going go in them, these fish. There we go. Lovely 31 pounder. But clearly, or scrape of 30, should I say. Clearly, this has got the raving hump. I'm going to get this one back. Rods are already back out there. A couple more spawns are not going to stay much longer. Another hour or so. Still time for another one, though. Loveliest of times. Right, so that's the end of the trip now on Braze Nose 2. Um, the water keeps coming up. Um, I couldn't have even stayed tonight if I wanted to. The bailiffs come round and said that the lake will be closing this evening. So I thought, you know what, cut me losses now. It's actually kicked off again. Um, I've had another four, I think, since I showed you those last two. Um, most of the kit was away in the van, including the camera, which was flat. So I've been charging it up off the van whilst I've been chucking the rest of the gear in. So yeah, I ended the trip with 11, I think, 11 fish, a couple of 30 pounders four fish out of b1 couple of 30 pounds out of there as well so yeah what a great start to 2024 i'm going down next week for my first visit to corda hq to meet all the guys and girls and then i'm out with brad the day after and we're going to be filming a tipped video so yeah by the time this vlog goes out that tipped video will be in the edit the weather as it stands over the next couple of weeks isn't looking that enticing to get out and go carp fishing but you know me Provided the lake's not got a lid on it, I'm going to be out and I'm going to be fishing. So yeah, I'm going to uh, pan the camera around now so you can see the last couple of fish that I had. And I'm going to hit the road and I'm going to uh, love you and leave you all again. Thank you very much for watching. And I wish you all a happy, healthy and successful 2024. Here's to the next trip, eh? Here we go then. So this one here, a little under £29. And then if we scroll through, it shouldn't go too far. And I had that one there. He's a nice one, look. Another 22, 24 pounder. Guy come around to see me, just took a few photographs. Like I say, everything else was packed away and in the van. Camera was flat. Classic me, but there you go. What a start to 2024. Lovely times.